We just started the BYLD program this year. How are you finding it working in your classroom? We're really enjoying it. I've, we started piloting the program with the seventh grade last year, and I immediately noticed that within months, the seventh grade was, at, was much more efficient with their work process than the eighth grade was. They were coming in in the morning, checking their emails. Um, they were communicating back and forth. It wasn't like the eighth grade experience of emailing the teacher for a problem and then never going back to their email to find out the answer. These children were using the iPad to make them more efficient learners. So it's really been integrated into the whole learning process overall, you feel? I really think so. When, if, if you take an iPad away, they really, s well, what do I do now? How, how, how can I get this done? It's really become an extension of themselves in the classroom. And now this year we also added Edmodo. How is that impacting your teaching, and how do you feel the kids are working with it? I love Edmodo. I thought I would like it. I didn't realize how much I would. It's just from, from really ridiculous things like handing papers out and not having to go, up, go after the class and pick them all up because no one remembered them, to really seeing how they're relying on Edmodo as a communication tool, asking me questions, asking each other questions, you know, that, that back and forth. It's really, um, I think, revolutionizing my classroom. It's, it's um, having everything all in one place. I think of an assignment, I, I think of an additional resource, I just throw it right up there and then I can just shoot the kids a note saying, hey, this is something else I found for you. They know where it is, I know where it is. Everything's very clean mm -hmm. and much more efficient. I'm finding too, by using the Edmodo with the Google Docs, it's great because if you make a change to the document, it's just right there. They just get it instantaneously. It, so. it, it is, it's seamless. Mm -hmm. you know, and it's taken them a bit of time to figure out that, oh, that means it's done everywhere? Yes. Right, right, right. And now that they're realizing that, they're really, um, I think they're up in their game because of it. Mm -hmm. They're not getting caught up in this smaller stuff. Right. It's allowing them to expand and explore higher levels. I know what I'm doing with, especially the eighth graders this year too, I'm putting the resources on Edmodo and I'm not necessarily showing them everything. So when they say, well, how do I use that site? For example, they're, they're making a thing like now. I said, well, I put two videos up on Edmodo. Watch them. If you have questions, let me know. So I think it's making them more self-reliant learners as well. I agree. I, every chapter, I'll post notes and their questions and any additional resources. We started a new chapter just this morning, and it was constant. Did you, did you put the folder up there? Did you share that folder with us yet? I said, well, you don't need those yet. Well, I really want to look at them over the weekend so I can get ahead of the game. And yeah, they're really, I think they're seeing as much value in it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as the teachers are. Do you feel um, there's any downsides or detriments to using the devices in the classroom or Edmodo or any of the other technology that you use? Hmm. There, is a, there is a level of distraction. And I guess the distractions are different but it's not like it wasn't there weren't distractions in the classroom before so it right. now they're just distracted by different things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, other than that I, I, I really don't see too many downsides if the kids are having problems with the device that can slow us a little but we're getting into a um, habit or pattern of okay I'm gonna try it two different ways and if not I'm just going to take out loose leaf and right. and write down or open up the note app and just take notes on there and we'll deal with it later. So we're getting into that. So I think we're starting to minimize those kind of tech distractions. Mm -hmm. You know, we're just going to have a process in place. Right. But um, I really don't. I don't see too many downsides at all. Very big fan. And I really think, too, like given the short amount of time, because we actually started the BYOD program, I guess we gave out the devices in October. Mm -hmm. We had them bring them in and we gave out the ones that the school provided. So it's really only been about a month. Yeah. And they really seem to have gotten, for the most part, they've really seemed to have gotten everything down pat. Um, what are some of the things you've done with the devices in your classroom? Well, I really like when I'm sharing my notes with the kids, my PowerPoints or kind of visual presentations. While it's up on the board, it's also right in front of them. And I'm encouraging them to take notes right on my notes, which is... is different it's it's not in a separate place so I think it becomes a more valuable study tool mm -hmm. we've also um, 
at their own level, the kids have been, at their own speed rather, the kids have been watching videos, answering questions, reading longer journal articles mm -hmm. to um, prepare them for the, the non-fiction common core components where they really need to sustain attention more. Mm -hmm. so we've done um, augmented reality mm -hmm. where the children did research on the um, on a topic within the Civil War. They worked in pairs and then they based on their research they produced a two, approximately two minute iMovie or some kind of video using one of their apps and then we we paired a trigger image with the video we posted the images all around the school and then the kids went around and using the Erasma app, which works something like a QR reader, the, uh, the kids were able to share each other's work through videos. And because it was spread out around the school, that yeah. was a whole other component of enjoyment for, for them. Yeah, that was a great project. I also think, too, like the... Um the skill of having them take notes on your notes mm -hmm. is such an important skill because once they get to high school... It's like all of a sudden there's, where are my notes? You didn't give me notes. So mm -hmm. for them to be able to sit there and to annotate, I think it's a very important skill for them going forward. Yeah, very difficult for them to transition from just copying notes from the board. I said, that's not notes, that's copying. Now I want you, if I start stressing something, if, if someone brings up an interesting point, you can add it right to the part of the notes where we were talking about it. And I think that's, that really is quite that a, is, quite a is, good skill. That's great. That's great. Anything else? I don't think so. Well, thank you very much. It was fun.